So for you, the young man on self-improvement, you've probably felt the same way as me, where you feel like there's been something missing. Like I'm doing these things that every YouTuber spoke about, this testosterone, every article online, every little doctor who's mentioned testosterone. I'm doing all of them. They're all saying sleep and oh yeah, exercise. I'm, I've been doing all of them. So why is my testosterone still 500 to 600? And people will hear that and be like, oh, but that's pretty good, dude. It's like, it's pretty good compared to the modern person, but I'm not trying to be comp like pretty good compared to these people, bro. Come on. I know I sound like a dickhead, but I don't give I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm not trying to be like slightly slightly higher testosterone than the average guy, bro. I want to be two or three times more like the average man's testosterone. I want to be like matching my great grandfather's level and maybe surpassing that. People think this is extremist, bro. I I don't care. I want to feel like like a a real man, and I think that comes down to testosterone. And I think once you've past the fundamentals and of course we can always improve our sleep a little bit more of course our diet like oh yeah we shouldn't have had the uh, that little treat three weeks ago. okay fine there's always a little bit to improve on i'm not saying yeah we should just give up on self-improvement but when you get to a point when you start to wonder like there's something missing you probably feel the same way there's something else that's messing us up and i think we've uncovered it now I think it's these random like this this thing that we never even comprehended that there's literally like just objects all around us that are reducing our testosterone that by